everyone, welcome to our organization and organizing our Google Drives for this school year. This is video number one. So this is our opening ceremonies because we are doing an Olympic theme type organization of our Google Drive. So what this is gonna be, it's gonna be a 16 day walkthrough of organizing our Google Drive and getting our Google Drives all ready for this school year. So this first part of our organization is going to be finding unused items that we don't hardly ever open anymore and trying to get those out of our Google Drive or renaming them so that way we know what these items are, okay? So to quickly narrow down items to organize for this challenging part of day one, we're gonna use the search bar in your drive. So I want you to get to your drive, and when you're in your drive, you're gonna use this search bar right here, and we're gonna type unnecessary and unused items, okay? So the first unused item, so at the very top where your search bar is, okay? I want you to type the word untitled, okay? Untitled, and I want you to put enter. This is going to bring up files that do not have a name, okay? That do not have any name. If it's an item that you wanna keep, give it a name. So that way we know when we're searching something, we can find that item. If it's something that you do not want to use anymore, delete it. So if I'm right here and I see where it says un it says untitled right here or right here or right here, if I want to keep those items, all I'm going to do, so in this thank you note, I'm just going to right click on my document and I'm just going to hit rename and I'm going to name it thank you cards. Okay, so now this is named instead of untitled. So see how it changed? Thank you cards, okay? Now, if I click on this video and I see that I don't want this video or I click on this document and I see that I don't want this document or this picture, I'm just going to right click again on our document that is untitled that you do not want and all you hit is remove. And then it's gonna ask you if it's okay to remove and remove, okay? And then it's gone from your Google Drive. Okay, so you're gonna do that for all your untitled documents. Now this might take a while, okay, but it's gonna be beneficial when you're trying to find something in your drive. So that's the first step of getting all of our unused items either flushed out or renamed, okay, with the untitled at the top. So you're gonna do that first. The next thing you're gonna type in the search bar, so I'm gonna X out of the search bar search, the next thing you're going to type is you're going to type copy of and hit enter, okay? This is going to find all of your copies of other files that you've either had people share with you and you made a copy or things like that, okay? You want to check the files before you delete just in case the most recent edits are in the copy and not the original, okay? So this is all of the things that have been copied um, from something that's either been shared with me or something that I've bought or other things like that. And what I can do is I can actually do the same thing I just did with our untitled documents and I can just get rid of the copy of. So like for these poetry task cards, I can just right click, hit rename, and all I'm gonna do is just delete copy of and now it's just gonna read poetry test, okay? now. If you don't need this copy of different things, you can do the same thing and just right click and delete, okay? So it's just renaming all of these copies of, so that way you don't have to see copy of, you can just see the actual name, okay? And then the last one that you can look up to rename and flush out unused items, I want you to type in on the search bar, you're gonna type or search type colon archive and hit enter, okay? And this is gonna pull up all of these zip files. So if you have anything from Teachers Pay Teachers, if you have anything from your um, your actual drive on your computer, so your actual um, hard drive, you, when you add it to Google, it creates a zip file, okay? So this is going to open up all of those zip files 
And depending on how you use your drive, you might not have any unzipped files, okay? So you don't need to keep those zip files. So what I do, so all of these, when I have zip files on my Google Drive, when I click on something, so if I look at the star reading dailies, see how it pops up right here? I always have to download it, wait for it to open on my computer, open it up, and things like that. If you don't have, if you already have these on your computer and on your Google Drive, you can get rid of these zip files, okay? So if I have, let's see, if I have this kindness thing, and I download this entire document, okay? If I download my zip file and I open it up into my, on my computer, okay? If I open it up here and I double click on all of these, now see how it pops up with the PDF? Some of y'all might take that PDF and actually drag it into your Google. And so you don't need that zip file, okay? This is just going to help with finding the actual document. So if you already have these PDFs or the zip file um, documents in your Google Drive, you do not need to keep the zip files. Does that make sense? Because you're having double documents of the same thing if you move them from the computer zip file to your Google Drive. Okay, that might not make a lot of sense right now, but when you start looking at your zip files, you're gonna say, oh, I already have that PDF downloaded to my Google Drive. I don't need to keep the zip file. It's taking up storage on my Google Drive, okay? Now, here's a pro tip, okay, for flushing unused items. If it's something that you own, so say you've created something. So if I go back to my drive, and I see something in my drive, so say right here, this, this teacher summer care bingo, okay? If this is something that I created and that I own, a pro tip, right click on it, hit rename, and before you even name it, put the word owner colon me, and then underscore. So that way you know that you own it, and you're not gonna accidentally delete it from a shared file, okay? So that's gonna help you be able to search in your search drive your own resources that you've created and that you own, okay? So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna open up your Google Drive. Let's recap. You're gonna open up your Google Drive, okay? You're gonna use the search bar to find and delete all of the untitled documents that you don't want, the copies of that you don't want, and the zip files that you don't want. This is the very first opening thing that you should do with your Google Drive. That's gonna help with flushing those items out that you don't really need anymore or that you need to rename because some of these might not need to be deleted. They might just need to be renamed, okay? So look up in that search bar, the untitled documents. If you don't, if you want them, give them a descriptive name. If you don't want them, delete them. Look up the copies of. If it's not a copy, if it's the original, delete copy of, okay? Make sure that you're not deleting the original first, okay? And then the zip files. If you do not, if you already have the items that are in that zip file on your Google Drive, delete the zip file because you don't need a double resource on your Google Drive, okay? I hope this helps. Make sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms that are in the description below. If you have any questions, just comment on this video and I will be more than happy to help you. Um, with this process of day one. This is day one organization, and I hope this video helps you get organized for our next days um, that we do this Google Drive, okay? Have fun, and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye!